Now, you being a, a, a native of, of L.A., South Central L.A., the pride of Morehouse College, HBCU, you, you, um, you had an opportunity to work with the late, great Nipsey Hussle. Uh, we recently saw there was some excerpts from a documentary that's going to be coming out relatively soon that's executive produced by Maverick Carter and LeBron James about the life and times of Nipsey Hussle. Um, and you're also involved with the Destination Crenshaw Project as well. Uh, just talk to me, in, in, knowing that the things that you knew about uh, Nipsey and working closely with him at, at, at particular points and times, now that we're in 2022, going into 2023, if Nipsey Hussle was around today, what would you think he would say about what's going on in his community and in, 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 in the district as well? Well, you know, I think Nipsey, if he were around today, he would be out front. He would be highlighting the cooperation between African-Americans and Latinos, certainly in his company, the Marathon Company. You know, as, as you know, some of the main principles are, are Latino folks from the neighborhood, pointing out how we live side by side, pointing out that we're the example and they're the exception. Um, and I think that that's really what we all have to do. Uh, and, you know, I think one of the great, there are a lot of great things about Nip, but one of the great things about Nip is he didn't get caught up in the controversies or the, you know, the, arg the side arguments. He was always pressing towards progress. And so I think that's what he would be doing now. And, you know, he would be saying, we got to keep it moving. Um, and, you know, this is not acceptable, but, you know, stuff happens. Let's keep moving. When you look at what, what Nipsey, this, the young man that he was and just the visionary that he was and, and, and um, everything that we, we learned about later on as far as him building computers at a young age. I mean, and then him being instrumental in trying to create a STEM program uh, in the city and, and working with you as well. Are there any plans to continue some of those operations uh, that he put in place before his untimely passing? A lot of those operations are still going. They actually never stopped. Uh, one of the great things about Nipsey was he understood his role as a public figure to inspire and create space for people who could do the day to day work. Um, and so those pro pro programs are going on and on and on. And he did. He wasn't the type of person where he had to be doing everything himself. Uh, and so those projects are, are happening. They're happening uh, at a very, very good rate. Destination Crenshaw is rolling along. You know, we'll do Nipsey Hustle, um, uh, Nipsey Hustle Park at Slauson and Crenshaw. So that'll be exciting. That'll be kind of a tribute to Nip. Um, and we just announced that there'll be Sola Tech on Crenshaw Boulevard, which is a tech center, which it'll be a gaming center, a computer programming center, as well as a music studio that Live Nation and others help uh, sponsor where folks in the neighborhood can come right in, learn how to use the equipment, learn how to program and create their own art. Yeah, as I drive down Crenshaw, I mean, I'm seeing the the, the, the construction of, of Destination Crenshaw. I'm definitely excited to see when it comes to full fruition.